Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna do an Isaac run today, because I'm on the clock. <laughs> I know not everyone's gonna be happy to hear that. 6HTJ2PRR, there you go. I gotta get some Isaac done, I'm feeling a little bit better. My throat's still a little bit sore, so it's probably not the best idea to be doing a bunch of recording, but in terms of like a general, like, overall malaise, um... I say as I tip my surgical mask, I am doing totally fine, so uh, I'm feeling like I'm on the... I'll take it, just for the potential. I'm feeling like I'm on the way, uh, on the way up, which is good. I don't think I've had a, you know, infection like this is, that has lasted this long. Probably like six or seven years, so it's pretty crazy to me. That's a pretty good haul right there. Um, but we are recording uh, a move or die tournament, so if you like the goofball goals tournament, we're recording a move or die tournament. I'm lucky enough to not be in the first couple of uh, heats here for qualifying, so I'm going to be able to fit in a quick Isaac run as long as it's in a relatively acceptable amount of time. I'm not going to be trying to speed run or anything like that. Tomo, buddy, you want to get out of the room? All right, Ruka, buddy, move your face away. I'm not letting you in at this point. This is great. Uh, PhD right off the bat. We won't have enough money to do any kind of uh, blood bank kind of shenanigans here, but still, PhD is well worth giving up one chance at one arcade, and we still could actually make it. PhD not leaf, a very, very good start. And I'm not really going to be sweating the time too much. If I have to be a little bit late for those guys, it's alright. I have to be a little bit late for those guys. I can't believe that we had that run a couple of days ago where I, like, predicted that Curse of the Blind soy milk would happen, and then it actually happened. That's just the craziest shit. Uh, great use of bombs so far. Yeah, that, that was a particularly good one there. Maybe I should actually just save the rest of my bombs, because clearly I cannot place them down in a fashion that makes it uh, likely that I'll get through gurglings without getting hit. Please don't cost me my spirit heart. My own idiocy, because I shouldn't have picked up the spirit heart to begin with. Should have waited just a little bit. One of these guys is almost done, though. And when you got one gurgling left... You're gonna be totally fine. There we go, yeah. You just stay away from me. I'm actually glad that we have the gurglings that summon flies, because the bullets, they... The flies do inhibit your movement. You know, they block off spaces that are now unsafe. However, the uh, the bullets travel faster, and as a result, inhibit your movement more immediately. Lucky for us, we got meat. It's a, uh... And thank you for letting me know this, by the way. People told me uh, I had that choice between meat and synth oil, and I took synth oil. Turns out that decision was, ooh, was, uh, relatively sound. Synth oil is a one damage upgrade, and meat is HP, admittedly, but then only .3 actual damage up as a result. So, meat's still pretty good. I'm still happy to have it. Better than just picking up breakfast or something like that. Uh, however, it is not, uh, quite perhaps the, uh, like, truly incredible damage upgrade that you could necessarily, uh, you know, tie your horse to and just expect to have a great run. Curse of Darkness does not bother me at all. What we'll be waiting on... Oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> Thank God I got those spirit arts. What we'll be waiting on here is, uh, to see whether or not this item room is shitty enough that it's worth re-rolling right now. Oh, never mind, I don't have keys. So we'll be probably just taking whatever is in that item room at face value, and then getting a deal with the devil and, and trying to reroll that. Because a good deal with the devil item in almost every situation means more than a good item room item. Unless your item room item is like 2020 quad shot polyphemus mom's knife, um, you're probably going to be on the lookout for a, a great deal with the devil item instead. There was a tinted rock in that room. Didn't, never fear, I saw it. Whether or not we'll have the opportunity that oh, there's a tinted rock in this room. This actually seems a lot easier to, to farm up as well. No, 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 no chain reactions. No chain reactions here. Hoping to kill the red spider, leave the two bomb spiders alive. Come get me, motherfucker. Okay, come get me, motherfucker. That's not gonna work. I'll, I'll take as long as is necessary here. There we go. We also got a key out of it. And admittedly, I probably still don't want to use a reroll on the item room. Which is great because I don't want to use a reroll on the item room. Instead, we pick up five bombs. Plus the ability to heal ourselves via bombs. And this plus Nod Leaf makes for a very, very defensive positive run right now. Uh, we are shockingly well equipped to weather pretty much any storm. So we're, uh, I don't see any tinted rocks in here, but we should probably blow, oh, there is a tinted rock right there. I almost missed that. I'm going to say that's thanks to Curse of Darkness, but we both know that that might be a little rich. Anyway, 
Um, this is an inc not to mention the fact that we have almost full HP already, technically. Um, but uh, a crazy good defensive run. All we need is some offensive improvements, and we're pretty much set in stone here. Uh, I'm a little surprised, actually, that we have A, seen so many Tinted Rocks, but B, seen so many Tinted Rocks and not picked up Small Rock. Hopefully that happens in the near future. But even so, you know, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape about it right now, considering that the alternative is usually just not seeing many Tinted Rocks at all. And we've had the bombs necessary to access all of them, or at least nearly all of them, which is something that doesn't always happen. And I'm not really complaining about a lack of offense either, because A, we're starting as Isaac, and B, uh, we got meat, which, while not the most uh, delicious damage upgrade that could possibly be on offer, is still pretty good. Beats just your, your standard, you know, one stat upgrades for the most part, depending on what the stat is, I guess. Alright. Pin fight is super easy, and um, we'll see if we end up getting enough money to maybe buy another battery charge from our shop, just in case we want to reroll what pin gives us and what the deal with the devil gives us. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely prioritize that devil room first. And the run has gone so well so far, game. Wouldn't it be a shame if you soiled it by giving me a shitty deal with the devil? Why not just unify it all together into one beautiful run by giving me like a brimstone or a mom's knife right off the bat here? As the crowd shouts, no, please, no! That's a good start, okay? I'm gonna take the pact, and I'm gonna re-roll the guppy item, and we got Rotten Baby. I was skeptical about re-rolling it. I'd say it's, it, I mean, it's more immediately useful. Definitely, Rotten Baby is a great deal with the devil item. Don't, don't let me uh, try to paint it as a shitty deal with the devil item. It's a really good one. However, uh, Guppy's hairball could be more useful if we end up becoming Guppy. If, or if we end up getting two guppy items, more specifically. We end up getting three guppy items still, then we made the right decision, I think. If we end up getting um, two guppy items only, then I'll feel pretty not so fantastic about it, but it's okay. With five cents, I don't think we need to buy anything else, and we have no need to reroll anything else, unless our secret room actually provides us with a, uh, a desire to reroll. Let's take the time to go back for that. It's not like this run has taken a super long time right now. And now, both offensively and defensively, we're looking amazing. Really, I would not have expected that. So I think our secret room instead is going to be right down here. Hopefully we get that pot. Hoping it was a quarter, but whatever. And we got one penny for three bombs. Not a great trade. All things considered, though, an amazing run so far. Definite deal with the devil precedent. Hopefully we can manage to swing a, a deal with the devil on the next floor. And maybe get a goat head and just ball out of control that way. It happens. Guppy items for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, it would have been better if we got the guppy items. In a way, I would have felt a little like I missed my potential by not taking Guppy's hairball. However, um, you know, that's better to still have the guppy items versus not have them. Especially if the alternative is getting bombs and flies. We'll go up against some very, very uh, easy enemies relative to the damage that we're doing right now. And... It might be a little irresponsible to call this a one run, but certainly we're way ahead of the curve. We have uh, at least two items that a lot of people consider basically, you know, defensive fucking wild cards. You know, they can be whatever you want them to be in uh, the form of Pyro, Maniac, and um, Nod Leaf. Although we can't really do too much with Nod Leaf and Rotten Baby. It's not quite the coup that you might expect. Um, we'll definitely go to our cursed room, though. Probably could have gotten the penny out of it. Not doing so well in these uh, risk reward rooms on this floor. Maybe we get a spirit heart just for just for finishing up. Maybe that'll be the penny that lets us buy humbling bundle. You got to put a positive spin on things, you know. I could have uh, I could have completely gone off my rocker after getting soy milk on that curse of the blind run. Instead, I said, you know what, soy milk. Let's try to turn that frown upside down, and we ended up. Uh, Dang it, pulling out a, a pretty nice win out of it, uh, even though I would have preferred to have not had soy milk in the first place, but you can't always get what you want, right? I'll reroll Mini Mush, and the, the Shears is fantastic. It's the most fantastic item that we won't use. And we'll have to go to our shop to, to buy another charge, or we'll, we'll have to just farm one up here in order to have one ready for a potential deal with the devil, and then if we don't get one in our deal with the devil, then, you know, so be it. I really, I've started to not really like Mini Mush. It's not like I think it's actively a detriment. You know, if I was the uh, the CEO of a company, 
Mini Mush is not the guy that shows up at, uh, you know, noon when he's supposed to be there at 8.30 and, you know, is drunk at work and takes 80-minute bathroom breaks to snort coke off the toilet seat. Mini Mush isn't that guy. However, um, Mini Mush is more the guy that, like, he shows up on time and he means well, but he's just not really that good at his job. And let's be honest, we could probably replace him with someone a little bit more competent if we, if we did our due diligence. Which is a very cynical thing to say. However, we're not dealing with real people's lives here. We're dealing with hypothetical lives, and uh, the lives are metaphorical constructs designed to relate to items in a video game. So I can be as cruel and as heartless as necessary because none of these items are providing for a family. Northern Line, you were a real dick in that metaphor you made up. I'm sorry. I didn't... Maybe I didn't think it through all the way. Uh, we have ball o bandages. I think an orbital is more valuable than a spacebar item that we actually don't have the opportunity to use. So, I'm gonna come over this way. And reroll that. And sissy long legs. While I don't have the same kind of affinity for this item that a lot of people do, I do still like it quite a lot. Now my uh, principal goal on this floor is going to be to getting to, uh, you know, two extra cents basically. And if we can get to those two extra cents, I should be able to have a chance of getting a blood bank. And then our financial situation is just completely set for us. Theoretically, at least. Uh, we don't have a trinket. So for once, I will get the opportunity to actually use Isaac's head. I was kind of hoping to get enough money to make a uh, starter deck a viable pickup. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen unless I'm willing to break the donation machine. And I am willing to break the donation machine. Unfortunately, I'm not really willing to spend like four bombs and break the donation machine. I'll spend uh, one bomb just to get over five cents. Get out of this floor as soon as possible because Curse of the Maze can suck on my maze. My corn. Gross. I know all pills are good at the same time. Like, all pills are not bad, I should say, but at the same time, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Second secret room contains a bunch of red hearts. All right. Down to the next floor. A little bit slower than I'd like to be going, but that's okay. We got the money to possibly spawn an arcade. I think the money long term is more valuable than buying a consumable short term. We'll see if that ends up being the case. No keys, which is admittedly a little bit of a problem. Hive Mind, all of a sudden, is a fantastic pickup for us. We got flies and spiders. We got the whole fucking Pokedex here. What's the spider Pokemon? There's spider Pokemon, right? Are there fly Pokemon? I have, I don't know, man. Lemon Party. Okay, there's our Blood Bank, which is awesome. Especially with uh, PhD. Not PhD, sorry. Pyro. Especially with Pyro, we have a huge ability to play uh, that Blood Bank... I wouldn't necessarily say as long as we want, but for a long, long time, for sure. So we got a dime out of it right off the bat, which is just stupid. That's crazy lucky. And then we can come back over here and actually try some stupid shit like this. That gives us an extra bomb, healed us, and will allow us to get that red heart as well. So this was like an obvious no-brainer situation. We're up to 25 cents already, and then we'll pick this up. And this will probably do it for now. Like, two more plays of this, and if it doesn't pay out, we'll have to come back later. But for now, uh, that was a really good pickup. We went from, like, 5 cents to 29 cents, which is solid. Hopefully our boss fight is up here, because I don't have any keys. <laughs> all right, hopefully any room at all is up here, because we are timing this appropriately. We are doing this. Yes, that is uh, me trying to quote the CTs from Global Offensive. All right! I should not be too worried at uh, green dudes shooting bombs. They can actually heal. And I shouldn't be worried. I should welcome them with arms wide open. Scott Stab style in the middle of a meteor shower. Stopwatch or broken stopwatch? Tough decision. I'm going to buy uh, that pill, which ended up being a great choice. And again, I think like money is not an issue for us in this floor. I'm not going to buy either of the stopwatches, but I'll buy all the consumables that give me a much better chance at life here. I'm not going to pick up that nickel just yet, but I will pick it up. I mean, I'm, I'm not a total idiot all of the time. You can be a total idiot some of the time, or it's a little bit of an idiot all the time, but I can't be a total idiot all the time. That's what Abraham Lincoln said, I think, when he was playing Daniel Day-Lewis in the movie of the same name. Let's take Placenta, even though I don't love it. So we have more fuel for a deal with the devil, which ended up giving us 
You know, it's one of the few, well, we don't know what it's going to give us yet, but it's one of the few times I'm actually kind of hoping that we get uh, Krampus's head so I have a, an excuse to re-roll it into something maybe even more amazing than Krampus's head. And it re-rolled into Farkin Razor Blade, which is not very good for us. Um, we probably won't get that back open, so I think instead we just got to go. What do you think? Second secret room? Seemed worth a shot. Uh, and I'll blow this up as well. I might as well heal myself on this one. And there's some more red hearts. I could have taken the lover's card. I just figured it sort of didn't really matter that much. That was my philosophy at least. Um, yeah, let's. we've got five bombs left. Let's go play this guy. we got more HP now so we can play this more. We have placenta so we could like really, really farm the shit out of this if we wanted to. But honestly, I don't really want to. And I'm just going to do the the interesting thing here and blow these things up and get some more HP in the process. Got a bomb and a key back from that one and two bombs from the other one. So we ended up getting one free bomb, one free key, and a lot of HP back for that. And we're getting more money again. We're already up to 45 cents, even though I spent like 15 on the shop earlier. We've already surpassed that. Let's go look for our item room now. What did we get from our boss? Our boss gave us placenta, which I picked up. Oh, yeah, dude. Thanks a lot. Blow up some of these mushrooms in the process, too. Oh, that's probably what's hurting me. <laughs> the mushrooms are hurting me when they blow up. Sorry, Isaac's head. I, I have a little bit more respect for Liberty Cap, but we have a long-term working relationship, which, uh, you know, I, I have to give them experience. I have to give them the, the job based on their experience, I should say. I appreciate Liberty Cap. It helps out from time to time. We'll go back for that bomb. No, no real need to get it right off the bat, I think. And the more we uh, farm up consumables here, the better it is for us. We can turn bombs into money super easily. I really doubt this is going to be a secret room. But it was worth the bomb anyway. Not balling out of control yet offensively, but defensively we're in such an amazing position that I almost don't even want to mention it because it'll make people dislike me. <laughs> this is a run so good defensively that I want to keep it under wraps. Otherwise, people are going to get jealous. Especially to have these... Uh, these advantages this early is not necessarily the norm, so I'm very appreciative of the fact that we do have them. Alrighty. Item room contains the poop. Incredibly disappointing. At the same time, I kind of want to re-roll the shop instead. Why would I rather re-roll the shop than the item room? It's a little complicated, but there's two items on it. Now, they're, they're probably not likely to be as good, and they will cost us money, but since we have the money, that's a little bit of a non-issue. There's Guppy's Tail. I think that's worth taking. Decent item in its own right, if you can get enough keys for it. And it gives us uh, the obvious Guppy chance, which is very, very important. Am I feeling like I shouldn't have taken Rotten Baby? Not really. I'm still, I'm still liking the, the Rotten Baby pickup. I will. I will take this. And I, it's not good, but it's interesting. Uh, turns all tarot cards into pills, and we have PhD. This is really the only situation in which I could see this being worthwhile. So we're going to do it. And uh, there is a boss trap room available on this floor. So I figure, why don't we go to the boss trap room and maybe snag another guppy item. If we get a second guppy item, there will be a brief moment of regret. <laughs> Where I'll be like, I could be guppy right now. If we get a third guppy item, that regret will be erased. If we don't, that regret will linger. But I still think we've got a, a pretty easy path to success here. We're not very far away from it. It would help a little bit if I could stop taking such dumb damage on a consistent basis, though. Don't you rush me. Don't really need red hearts, I guess, but it would save me a bomb. Three red chests. Spirit hearts, pills, this is what I'm looking for. Um, range up, I will take. Not immediately incredibly worthwhile. And I'm thinking two lemon party pills against Mega Fatty and Mega Ma. Maybe not Mega Ma, but Mega Fatty at least is going to help me out a great deal. Got another lemon party and a speed upgrade, which again, I think it's worth it. The question of whether or not it's, it's actually worthwhile could be... Uh, Definitely debatable here. I just saw that the first heat of move or die actually just ended based on what people are playing on Steam 17 minutes in that's that's pretty good time We could finish this run by 45 minutes or so and not have people too angry at us 
I know I shouldn't have started something when I got other stuff going. That's my bad, but you know, the, the spice must flow, dog. I should have let that blow myself up, of course. Oh well. Let's blow this guy up, maybe get some money out of it and heal ourselves a little bit. Oh no, he's now playing move or die again. Probably just clicked on the wrong thing to load it. Um, so my plan now is to pretty much... Oh, I should take the speed upgrade. Uh, pretty much play this thing until I can't play it anymore. Which will only happen if it pays out or if I run out of bombs. Man, Nun's Habit would have been such a good payout for us with this synergy that we've got going on here. Something's got to give on this run. Eventually, they will either give me an HP upgrade or IV bag, at which point I'll have to leave. Or they will... Or I'll run out of bombs, basically. Either way, like, the longer we spend playing this, the better it is for us, because... Very dumb of me. We get more money out of the situation. Tried to save uh, half a second there and ended up costing myself. Uh, you know what? I'll even go a little bit further here. I'll blow myself up another two times so that I can play IV bag four times. And that ended up taking us to like 90 cents, which is pretty great. Let's get the hell out of this floor and we'll be able to get to full HP by the end. I'm not too concerned about getting to uh, 99 cents. That doesn't matter to me in the least. And I'm not even going to trade a bomb for a nickel at this point when we have 90 cents. That just seems a little bit overkill. Anyway, one guppy item. Didn't improve ourselves uh, via the deal with the devil at all on that floor, unfortunately. Let's head down to the curse room. We've got the spirit hearts necessary to justify it right now for sure. I'm expecting some more golden chests, so if mom's key would show up, that would be uh, ideal. Or just two more guppy items would also be fine. Or skeleton key. <laughs> if I could have any game winning item show up, that would be great. I'm not getting ahead of myself, but to be as smart and as snappy as possible, I should probably come back here and get a charge before going into the curse room, just in case it's like Guppy's paw, or Guppy's head, which we could then pick up and then reroll, and it would save us a spirit heart in the end, I guess. Yeah, I'll open it. Oh, it's always so worth it. <laughs> the cricket's head pickup seals the deal if it wasn't already sealed. And we get the goat head, which is not a guppy item, however, is probably more valuable long-term than a guppy item because it could give us so many guppy items. You know, it's like that Homer Simpson quote, oh, I got no mo zero money and three kids, why can't I have three money and no kids? And then he's like, well, wait a minute, I've got the quotes mixed up. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Uh, I very much hate this room, but we uh, got out of it just fine. I wanted to save our key there. Instead of getting the pill. At first I was like, this is novel. There's a pill instead of the magician card. Ooh, uh, I'm sorry to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry to do it, but I've done so many D4, D100 runs lately that I don't necessarily feel um, like I'm making an unfair decision. Let's put it that way. And with the goat head, I don't have to worry about timing my rerolls, actually, because I will be able to get to a deal with the devil every single time. If we go in and we don't have a reroll, then we can just come back with a reroll if we get one. And if we don't, we can come back and take the item. Yeah, this is well worth it. Everything about this is well worth it. I can see forever. Um, I won't pick up the charge yet. But we probably won't get a charge before our boss fight. I'll blow this up. I don't think we'll get a charge naturally before our boss fight anyway. We'll see. Mm, oh, no, we totally will, I think. Since this big room is oriented in kind of a different direction than I thought it would be. Uh, sure, why not? Let's give it a try. Oh my god. Ability to fly combined with uh, the cricket's head payout on this floor. Golden chest, man. That's one of the reasons Guppy's tail is just so good. It makes you so much more likely to draw from that pool. And that pool is extremely overpowered, I feel. That's one of the things I think would Afterbirth would benefit from kind of diluting the golden chest pool a little bit. I know people are going to be mad that I'm making suggestions that maybe, you know, make the game harder, but it that's it's too easy of a shortcut to success, I think. It happens so often. So there's a golden, or not a golden chest, but a tinted rock down there. I was hoping it would pay out with small rock, but I suppose you can't get, like, literally every single advantage on one floor. We also picked up Goathead on this floor. Kind of ridiculous. Alright, flies. Your time to shine. Two guppy items right here. Two guppy items. 
Second ball of bandages is nice. And then Sister Maggie, which is terrible. It'll be rerolled into the Necronomicon, which is still terrible. It's worse than Sister Maggie, actually, I guess. And uh, we'll come back here. And because we can fly, we can now pick up all the shit that I previously had left on the ground. We'll also get this quickly. I've been to our item room. Item room has Lazarus' rags. I'd rather reroll the Necronomicon than Lazarus' rags right now. Which I don't think is a dumb decision. There we go. Guppy's head. And if we get another charge, this is where the regret comes in. But if we get another charge, we could pretty easily become uh, Guppy. Or pick up Brimstone or something like that. I will take either of them. And to be fair, we are we're summoning flies. That's really good. We're summoning flies, and we're uh, flying. So we're almost already our own version of Guppy. Not quite as powerful, but we're getting there, man. I don't think we'll get another charge, unfortunately, but either way, it was still very, very much worth it. I'll go back for that. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's fairly realistic to say we're not going to get a charge. Unless that was 48-hour energy. Which it isn't. Um, I mean, we could do the mob trap room, but it's not that valuable, I think. So it'll really come down to this guy right here. I'll take it. I still think this item's totally fine. And we'll head down. Looking pretty much unassailable in this position. Two keys for that is a little cost prohibitive right now. It doesn't look, though, like we have Liberty Cap with the compass effect right now. It doesn't look like... We're going to be getting a blood bank on this floor, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to access our boss trap room, which is real unfortunate. We'll try a kind of a Hail Mary and put a bomb down here. No secret room. Hmm. The other thing is you could blow up skulls and get pills now. I'm kind of like unaware long term what kind of benefits this will give us, but let's try it out right here because we can get two each. Black card helps too. Yeah, I found pills. Still, three bombs for two black hearts is okay. Well, let's get Bob's brain productive here. There we go. I can't believe we've gone too slow to get the boss rush here. I guess I did do a little arcade farming. That took up some time, but maybe our damage isn't quite as... or hasn't, since the start of the game, been quite as consistent as I thought it would be. It's still a great one, though. And our item room is up there. We got two keys. I didn't really want to use one there, but I did. I, I kind of didn't stop myself. <laughs> Which is not fair to say that it's the game's fault. But I was like, oh, I'm going to open that. Okay, let's just see what happens. Hopefully we'll get another key back in the meantime. Because, you know, I'm probably due to fight greed in our shop. So I'll, I'll go to the item room first. Should have donated money on the last floor. It's not a huge deal. I think it's not a huge deal anyway. You may disagree. Yeah, go ahead, Troll Bomb. See if I give two hoots. We're already at the HP cap, and uh, all you can really do is heal me, so I am not as concerned as you should be. Oh! I think I've... I don't... It's hard to say if I made the right decision, but I made a pretty good decision. The Halo is uh, a nice pickup for us here. Maybe not the, the biggest damage upgrade. But it is a damage upgrade. And there's another key, which we will save for our shop. And the, the game is really doing a great job about pretty much just giving me everything I needed as I need it. No earlier, but still. Yeah, I had a feeling the fly would take care of that one. Now that we've got one more key, I'm going to come back down here and open this up. And that gave us another key, as well as some bombs, which pretty much, pretty much uh, make us unkillable. I mean, you have pyro plus, like, bombs. It's pretty much like you have the jar, but you don't have to waste a spacebar slot on it. There's another key, which again is very good because I'm going to want to open chests on the chest if it uh, if it comes to that, which I think it probably will. No greed, huh? I'll buy this and I'll donate a lot of money. As much as I can anyway. Um, you might say why not like reroll this stuff, but we're so close to the boss fight with the deal with the devil that I, I don't really want to waste what might be our only reroll here. This is good. We're going to be, like, closing in on 300 here. Got to be in the 290s by now. Wait for the... There we go. 300. 
I might save 8 cents if the game really is gonna milk me this hard, which I'm very happy about, actually. Keep we'll Donate until we get to 8 cents. There we go. That was beautiful, and then we'll take that, and we'll take this. I forgot that that was I Found Pills, clearly, but still, we donated, like, 60 cents or something ridiculous to our uh, donation machine there. If you're new to the series, I have been to 999, as you can tell from the fact that we had the stopwatch show up earlier. Uh, I, I actually went so hard I went past it. <laughs> and blew it up and then got people very mad at me. Alright, so that was, I think, high time to finally use that lemon party pill. And this fight is over already. One guppy item. I gotta take it. I always struggle with this decision, but I, where I'm like, you know, I need one guppy item in Dark Matter or Rotten Baby or, you know, Dark Judas or something. They're not that good, but at the same time, do you want to re-roll them into something that could be even worse than that? I really like Tammy Sad, but we gotta re-roll it. I think Scapular is an acceptable pickup, largely based on the fact that it's passive. At some point, we're going to have to stop opening these and save our keys for the chest. But that point is not necessarily just yet. It's like our eighth range up pill. Uh, the bean is a, is a reroll target, which is something for us. I think we can afford to get rid of uh, the liberty cap for left hand here. And we're just going to have to remember to drop the left hand, which means inevitably, I'm not going to remember to drop the left hand. But if it gives us Guppy, it, it could be worth it anyway. But I should try to drop it. Wouldn't it be great if we just got uh, our last Guppy item necessary right there? I like these kind of seeds where it's like very obvious what the consequences of different actions would be. Like if you had taken Guppy's hairball and not re-rolled it, you would actually be Guppy right now, man. But you wouldn't have Rotten Baby. <laughs> Instead, you'd be generating like a trillion flies, but you'd be missing out on that one per, like, two seconds here. That could have done it right there. Now we got some spiders. I know we have a reroll ready. I just wanted to come to our curse room to see if I'd rather use my reroll here. And I wouldn't. Crawl space? No crawl space. Do you reroll the bean? Yeah, yeah, we reroll. Ah, uh, let's. Let's go to the boss fight first, just because it looks like it's only like three or four rooms away. And then if we still have a reroll afterwards, we can make that decision. It's a range up, a speed up, and then telepills. Telepills is a little, a little interesting for us here. Not a bad floor to use it. This floor is kind of consequence free. As long as we have Godhead. Um, I can see forever, huh? Left hand not working out so fantastically for me. And this is where I eat shit, because I'm like, we should go to the boss fight first. And then it turns out the boss fight is actually like 12 rooms away, but because I've done six of the rooms, then it doesn't make sense to not continue on with our plan here. And this could still be the wrong direction here. This is admittedly suboptimal. My mistake. Oftentimes you will find a tinted rock there, and we did. Still no small rock, which is kind of blowing my mind. It's hard to be salty about the way that this run is gone, but... Uh, the fact that we haven't gotten Small Rock is a disappointing surprise. I don't really want that, to be honest with you. Alright, Daddy Long Legs. Two can play that game, whatever the game is. I guess it's the Binding of Isaac right now. You're dead, and this is important. As this is our last deal with the Devil, I feel like I have to reroll it. Um... I'll take the screw even though it's not that great, and I guess well, we can come back for Demon Baby. My hope right now is that we have enough rooms to get a reroll for uh, for Demon Baby. It's not really a question of what's better, Headless Baby or Demon Baby. I think without BFF, you're kind of dealing with like a wash there. At least they're, they're not far enough away from one another that I'd be disappointed. Uh, more disappointed to get one than the other. I'm just disappointed in general that it wasn't either a guppy item or... Death Touch, Death Touch, Brimstone, Abaddon, Mom's Knife, etc, etc. So we're going to need five more rooms. Now we need four more rooms. With combat, specifically. Very smart of me to take damage there. That's helpful. And now three more rooms. And I'm, I'm sort of like 50-50 on whether or not we're going to be able to do it here. 
I'm a little skeptical. Yeah, that's gonna do it, so... We're gonna be saddled with Demon Baby. That's not particularly bad. But it is not particularly good either. And that is not Guppy. Alright! Alright! If we were only one room away, we could fight in the mob trap room. But unfortunately, we're two rooms away. Yeah. Probably mismanaged my D6 here. So, the Guppy Dream is still very much alive. It's just much diminished now. Um, but we still have left hand and we still have uh, curse rooms and, and stuff like that. Now, this double key room... I'm going to go to it because there's a chance that it's going to be that sweet ass room that is like eight red chests. And it's five red chests, which teleported me to a deal with the devil. Not very useful on this floor. We got a lot of spirit hearts out of it. That's a room that probably would have been much better on the last floor, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh well. Pheromones. Lemon party. Lemon party telepills. Balls of steel lemon party. Yeah, balls of steel lemon party is an acceptable loadout here. Every room! We're getting the red chest, but the red chests have not paid out in the way that I would be desirous of right now. Alright. One of these days. Do I have a huge luck stat or something? I mean, I'm getting so many red chests. Oh, I have Guppy's tail! Which, combined with the left hand, is probably the reason I'm getting so many red chests. Unfortunately, there's really only like one red chest permutation that really works out fantastically for us, because we're at the HP cap. There we go. We're Guppy. I forgot we had Mom's Purse, so we actually took a Liberty Cap with us as well. Just want to quickly check. So now that we're Guppy, like this, this shit is just over. All we got to do is remember to drop the left hand on the next floor, and we are the cop who can't be stopped, basically. Yeah, now how are you all... <laughs> My brain broke. Now how are you all that did not take Rotten Baby and instead took Guppy's hairball feeling about this run? Now I got the Rotten Baby effect and the Guppy effect. Who's laughing now? Who do you think you are? I am. So we're going to drop left hand and uh, come this way, which I hope is a dead end. See, I got exactly what I wished for there. No funny business. We'll probably still go to the curse room because it doesn't hurt that badly. And now we have a chance to actually get some keys back because we won't be exclusively getting red chests. And we're balling out of control and we're going to be out of here in no time flat. Which is good because I think people are waiting on me. And I have a tendency to be a very punctual individual. And I do not, uh, do not enjoy being late. I just, I had a feeling this run would be a, a brimstone. Uh -huh. Okay, sure, we'll take it. I mean, we were already totally fine. I rerolled it there in case you missed it. And you could have missed it because the reroll just turned it into the exact same item it already was. I was like, I could get another curse room item, like the ceremonial robes or something out of here. Either way, it's fine. Is nine lives better for us? Yeah, I mean, it cost us one HP and gave us nine lives. It's probably very unlikely to be a difference maker, but if we need the difference made, it can make the difference. We're just absolutely steamrolling these rooms now. Like, I don't even think Super Gluttony will hold a candle to the kind of damage we can output here. I'm trying to, like, deliberately miss with Bob's brain uh, whenever possible so I can avoid exploding myself. And it seems to be working out pretty well. That's not really worth re-rolling because I need to save a re-roll for the chest in case we get four bad items. I'd rather have four re-rolls than just one. Oh, this damage is good. Perhaps not surprising, but uh, Guppy's a huge help. Yeah, that's an item that's pretty solid, all things considered. You know, now that we've taken a little bit of damage, if we're not going to have invincibility anyway, why don't we come back for this and head down to the next floor. And we still have Balls of Steel as well, so... Uh, basically just hoping for raw DPS increases. Rate of fire, damage, etc, etc. Nope. Eh. Eh. Let's re-roll them all. I don't like Loki's Horn enough. I'll take Tiny Planet because it's fucking weird. I'll take Common Gold and I'll take Virgo. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is still great. It's certainly weirder. I'm not going to deny that. 
but uh, it's it's fine. Virgo wasn't that great of a pickup, all things considered. We already have uh, we already have the PhD, but Celtic Cross invincibility might be nice in lieu of permanent Polaroid invincibility. Piggy Bank is not good for us in our current situation, uh, but it's technically not bad if you want to get technical, and I do. Always, wow, uh, not a key beggar for once. Sure, just a little bit of extra money. And it's a range up and uh, second Balls of Steel. But honestly, I think Lemon Party is gonna be more useful. Balls of Steel is great, but I think uh, we're more likely to get use out of, out of uh, Lemon Party. So after we get the reroll off this room, we will just reroll Lard. I, originally, I was going to reroll uh, Anarchist Cookbook, but I didn't really want the HP from Lard anyway, and Tough Love is a pretty good payout. Pretty amazing that we're able to do so much damage against the Bloat, an enemy, or the, the Cage, sorry, an enemy who is normally annoying as hell. Weird layout for a floor, but we're two rooms away from our boss, and this will be another good test, because Mega Fatty can be pretty annoying. So what I like about Tiny Planet is that I kind of passively killed one while focusing on the other one. Probably should not have put myself in a position to take damage there, huh? Alright, let's do this. I mean, th there should be no risk, basically, of this one going south. I'm waiting for, like, a Celtic Cross effect so that I can get in even closer, but the damage is just absurd. And it actually looks like uh, Lemon Party does damage to Blue Baby even when it's flying, which is... If nothing else, I actually learned something this episode as well. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.